And if you make sure it's recording up, it's recording. Okay, guys, give me one second. I'm getting out my pepper. Hello everyone, I'm deciding to create, I haven't named this dish yet, I'm just doing it for the first time. I'm going to make it for the first time today. I'll show you how I do certain things. Um, I'm going to bring you over so you can see I have a pan of water going for my um, egg noodles. As you see I have egg noodles. They're going to be going in that pan. Right now can you get me on a stick of water please? I am going to use the orange one. We do, there's another thing of it somewhere down there. Sorry guys, I'm getting out some stuff that I need. You're gonna kinda go out a little bit because my husband hooked you on the cupboard that I get my seasonings out of before I got my seasonings out. Getting all my different I'm gonna go back to my station in one second. Okay. 
Thank you. Now... Yeah, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, I got a half a stick of butter. Oh, well, I got a whole stick of butter, I'm going to make it a half a stick. I'm going to use a half a stick first, because we're going to saute the um, pepper, orange pepper, once I, once I uh, cut it up. Then the other half of my stick of butter is going to go into... So you can see, there's my frying pan. We're going to add, we have a half a stick of butter. This is actually classic, my husband got me the mild olive oil this time. But, just enough. A few dice, not dice, but slice me up the pepper. My husband's going to cut the pepper for me. I want it in slices. Like thin slices. This is the knife I want you to use. This is the knife that makes it the way I want it. And then, oh, we're going to turn you, because then you're going to see, we make up the, what's going to go on the top, over our pasta. Just my little... Well, I usually use. This is going to have to work. So... This is going to be, it's called rust, pesto rustic, um, not yet. I'm going to let that butter melt down first. Um, sorry, I'm talking to my husband, so he, he almost put the peppers in. Yeah, I want to let the butter melt down into the olive oil first. This is rustic basil. Before we do the rest of the basil into the bowl, we're gonna about depending on how much you want to coat your thing. So this is a small bottle of mild olive oil. It's about a quarter vial because I use about from there to there of my olive oil. For the pan, that the pan. So now we're gonna take a tablespoon, and we're gonna do 
one. Two tablespoons of our rustic basil. We're also going to be using Vermont goat cheese at the end, but not in this. Bread cooking wine. You're going to want to do a couple of splashes of that. And then, my fork and spread around with butter. Turn down the oil and butter mixture. Now as I'm looking at two things my husband's gonna add in the you can see adding the peppers slowly. Okay. You should have cut them in half. I usually would cut these in half. Now, I'm going to cut these in half in the pan as best I can with the oil. My, sorry, guys. My husband usually never helps me in the kitchen. So, he doesn't know I do certain things. But, now we're going to add... Um, this is actually Parmigiana Romano grated cheese. This is my Italian style herb grinder. I don't know if you can see it. It's my herb grinder. We're going to do a little bit of red top adobo. Well, now. Our, um, there's one more thing I'm going to add to my peppers, but first things first, our water is boiling for, I'm going to aim you back there so you can see our water is boiling for our egg noodles. I'm going to pour the entire bag of egg noodles in. Here it goes, please. Okay. Next. Is gonna be some steak seasoning. Before I add any other seasonings, because they're gonna actually gonna go. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go back to showing you this mixture. We're gonna add our steak seasoning to this mixture. Add a few grains of our Italian style herb seasoning. You want literally a few sprinkles with the red top adobo. You want some of the chicken powder. It's like the, it's it's in the same jar that you get the chicken bouillon cubes, except for it's already powdered down for you. Just a couple of sprinkles. And I'm gonna add a couple of sprinkles over here to our oil butter and pepper mixture, some garlic pepper, see this is garlic pepper. Now we're going to actually add, we add any more seasonings in, the, in with the pepper mixture. Will you open this ring right here please? 
We have to get the chicken strip mixed, the bag of chicken strips in. This is chicken breast strips. Season boneless in the chicken breast with red meat. We're gonna add this into our pan. We're still not done making our sauce yet, but once I get some more seasonings on the top of this, then we will stir in the peppers with the peppers that are cooking on the bottom. We want to add onion powder into this. Onion powder 